Hello, everybody. Welcome to an embassy clubhouse. My name is Anya, and with me, I have two of my fellow ambassadors. Hi, Hello. Guys. What's <laughs> up, Hi. everybody? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wanted to bring it. Like I wanted to. Wanted to bring it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and we're late, and it's all John's fault. It is 100. <laughs> but like I told her, I was driving down the road. And listen, there I saw someone giving birth, and I was like, <laughs> I've done this three times, right? So I was like, I'm gonna stop. So I stopped, right? But it was crazy because she was having twins. That was the really crazy part of it, right? So she's there on the side of the road, and um, this other dude stopped. He had a Porsche and stuff. No, I'm just kidding. I, it was just mismanagement as an artist that caused all that <laughs> caused me to be late. I was gonna say, you know what they say about lies, John, right? They yeah. Complicated. Yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah, the simplest answer, Occam's razor, is just John's an artist, and uh, he was late. So there you go. <laughs> it's all good. simplest Honestly. answer. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't that get attacked by some sharks? So. Yeah, 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 shark yeah, yeah. Nato, a shark Nato, <laughs> shark Nato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. See, I need Vens. I need Vens to give me ideas, man. More creative than me. That's why. You know. <laughs> yeah. What's going on here? Where you? All right. What we got? What we got? Not sure. Here. So there's a different landscape on each um on each slide, so you can like pick which wherever you want to go, depending on which one inspires you most. Um, nice. And I, I just want you guys to go crazy, like make some fun stuff and, and just have a good old time. And yeah, that's yeah. pretty much it. <laughs> okay. Very free form. I want to go on this one. Of course, the, the stream is going to follow where I'm at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you guys want to fight for stream time, I guess you're not going to have to go to work before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is so, Dune. It's got to be Dune related, right? Like we, ideally, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, no, like no, you have to paint Dune. Oh, <laughs> you know what I need to do? Okay, I know what I'm going to do. So I need a reference of it, but um, like I'm going to have two people fighting with those original shields. You remember the shields that look so goofy, <laughs> like on the original movie? Oh, oh the, no! So, <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Let's establish who has seen or read what. Uh, how many of us have read? The books i did um, yeah but i have like, not read the books i was okay. like 14 when i when i read those i forgot a bunch <laughs> okay who watched the old uh movie i only watched the scene yes. that john is talking about oh I yeah read, just uh, that scene yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it <laughs> stings in that movie did you know that sting is in that movie no. is he oh my gosh stings sting the person cool. he's the one fighting he's the one fighting like oh. he's yeah He's in there. Uh, at least at one point, he's in there, I think, as one of the fighters or whatever. But oh, yeah, that... <laughs> I got to oh, put no. them in. Okay. So it's real goofy if you guys haven't seen it. Like, it's actually it like a, a real feat. It's a real feat because it was not done in 3D. Like, that's the thing. It wasn't done in 3D. It was done in 2D on the film kind of a thing. Like, and it was it was basically like rotoscoping without a computer. It was like ridiculous. So it's crazy. Um, yeah, it's insane. It's insane. So uh, they, like it's it, it's a shame because it's so stupid looking, <laughs> but it but um, that is a shame that it would be you know uh, you know because it's it was really amazing that they did it. But yeah, it's super dumb. So it really looks stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you need to do it then <laughs> i am i'm gonna 100 percent do it absolutely Heck yeah so first i Let's need to go. make a like a box like this and i'm gonna make it so i so okay so first i'm gonna paint the person so let me paint sting i'm gonna paint sting so everyone's right. gonna want to see what you're doing so i have to like go <laughs> okay let, let okay, me hold go on. yeah <laughs> okay so this is the image let me just drag this in for you guys this is my reference image of sting <laughs> and dune and this is what I'm using. So right there. <laughs> look, at, look at how that's perfect. Low res. That, that's like that's Super the one I'm res. using. <laughs> Just so you guys know. So um that's going right dead into my pure ref like that. And my wife's gonna come in and be like, What the heck are you painting? <laughs> You know, <laughs> I would love to see her walk into a stream and just start parading you for what you're doing. 
<laughs> yeah, she, she would. She'd be like, John. Well, actually, like her and my kids would probably just be like, yep, that's par for the course for my dad. You know? <laughs> You're like <laughs> super jaded. Like, we're, we, yep, we're used to him being this way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so funny it's so true though all right so let's paint this bad boy i'm gonna do it big first and then i'll reduce it down because it's just easier to kind of to do it that way wow. so sorry it'll be a huge you're huge just gonna take sting. over all the space sorry i can do that on a separate thing and copy and paste it if you want but no you're good i'm just giving you a hard time <laughs> you just don't want to see sting it's it's too much for you to take sting in that that's metal underwear it's too much for you to take isn't it you, you just don't want to do it large size so attractive i just can't <laughs> contain myself <laughs> sting has that he does have that like like charisma though like he's got like that that crazy uh i don't know there's like certain people it's like no matter what they do like people find it attractive and he's so guess who's standing over my shoulder making a weird face? <laughs> <laughs> it's totally yes! <laughs> we, I just <laughs> talked about you. Man. I just said hey. my wife's gonna come in and be like, hey. what? so I'll be okay in the mic here. Tell everybody how you feel right now. Looking at that. Hello. I feel slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I feel slightly <laughs> intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it reminds Everyone. me of? What was that the babe with the oh. power? David Bowie? Yes. It, it's like, yes, it's the same feel as like Labyrinth. It's a total Labyrinth feel, like 100%. Absolutely. Everyone, I need you to know we just had a like very rare cameo by the beautiful wife. <laughs> That's right. This is going to be like the most amazing live stream ever. <laughs> I know and it started like a little shoddy. I wasn't there on time and and but then we're bringing it home. We're bringing it home. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm doing that like little mouse, the desert mouse. I'm doing Oh the yeah. Guy. I love that idea. That's good. It's going to be so cute. Muadib. Muadib. Muadib, yeah. Oh my gosh. The, I the big guy. Can I Forgot his name. Can, can we talk about like the Bene Gesserit for a minute? Yeah, so we can like, talk about the Bene Gesserit. Whoa, dude, like <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's oh awesome. apparently Ryan jumped in here during the, the Marie thing. <laughs> Ryan, yes. <laughs> Ryan. This was him. Come draw <laughs> sting with me, Ryan. Hey. hey Ryan. Oh, I wish he was here, dude. We miss you. We hope you're having yeah, a good man. time in Japan. Oh, he's in Japan. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. He's such a world traveler. He's such a world traveler. Yeah. It's crazy. That's I'm awesome. so jealous. Yeah, me too. He's like, I'm in South Africa, then I'm in Japan, and then yeah. I'm in here. And then I'm, in, I'm like, crazy. dude is, is a beast, man. He's like willing to go anywhere and, and do anything. I love that. That he yeah. like and and the you can tell, you can tell like he's a world traveler too, because he doesn't like say anything about it like you can tell he's like he's actually traveled a lot because if he's traveled like two places like i've been like three places outside the states so like every chance i get to talk about it i talk about it but he's like <laughs> he never talks about it so he's he's like this he's, is like, just my life like <laughs> yeah yeah exactly exactly you can tell he's actually traveled not like me that's like kind of you know <laughs> 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 So. Okay, I'm going to move around, check out what people are up to. Oh, my goodness. We have a huge sandworm. Nice. Oh, I see that. Yeah. What? No one's on the space board. Hold I know. I thought of doing the space one. Hold my beer. <laughs> you know? I thought of I'm doing gonna... the space one. <laughs> I'm going to do this after I do my mouse. Actually, I might not even... Long. I might not even do the shield thing. I might just put mm. Sting in here, just like this. <laughs> I might just leave it, just... leave it with Sting, like how he is, you know. That's so good. Just leave it like straight up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> just and make him like oversized too. Like I'll put him in the. I'm gonna try to make him fit, like in the scene. You know, I'm gonna try to make him fit. So. Uh yeah. <laughs> And the underwear is what the thing that's going to sell it. Like the metal underwear is so glorious, you know? Yeah, I do have to question the fashion designer for that movie. 
for many yeah. of their choices. That was the that was like the um that was like the style. Like my my wife called it when she said like it's like a labyrinth. It looks like David Bowie and Labyrinth. I I can almost like I'm curious if we look it up. Somebody will look it up. I know. I wonder if it's the same costume designer as Labyrinth or the same like set designer, or the same whatever. Like I bet you it's the same team. I can almost guarantee mm -hmm. you. Because it's got that if it feel. Is. If it anybody is? in the comments wants to oh. look that up, like let us know. I'll look it up. Um Okay, I'll look it up. Costume, <laughs> costume designer for labyrinth. Let's see. Hey, love I love that Vens that the Baron. The Baron's awesome. Yeah, the the big yeah yeah. Uh, wait wait, it's Brian Froud. Is he the one? <laughs> nice. Oh, it's his sketches. Did he? Okay. Um. Wait a minute. He did that. I didn't know he did that. Uh. Wait. Hold on. Is that right? <laughs> Yes. Oh my gosh. He did it. Okay. Did Brian Froud do it for, for the original tune? Original Dune. Brian Froud did like he's like um he was like the one that inspired uh um uh Iris compete, you know. Oh. Uh, yeah, like so he's like he was like her inspiration, but he did like a book on fairies and he's like he's been really influential. He did like a lot of work for like the dark crystal and like different things like that. It's really cool. So original dune, um like let's say but the original is the Yodorovsky and Moebius one. Have you seen that documentary, by the way? Okay, hold on a second. What is the title? Sorry. The June by Yodorovsky and uh, and Moebius. No, oh, I haven't. No, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. It never came out, but it was like a 10 years old project. And oh. there, there is a huge documentary about it uh, because it, it was huge and never came out. And uh, Oh, wait. It's, it's last stream, last time we had an embassy clubhouse, we looked yeah. it up and I showed it on streams. So that yeah. was the Subnautica oh, one. Yeah. yeah. That's true. That was yeah, fun yeah, too. <laughs> I love how the original Dune gets like a six out of 10 on IMDb, which is like <laughs> scraping it, just like scraping by. Um, okay, hold on. Let me find the. Can you imagine if the scene actually happened in Dune like this? Is just I know, right? Running away from, from it. <laughs> well, Co Corridor Corridor crew did the um they recreated the, the like boxy shield scene. They recreated mm. it. Um now yeah, how am I, I saw gonna... that. Yeah, it's oh you saw that? Yeah, it's cool. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I didn't how am see I gonna it. find how am I gonna find you need to go the... subscribe to their channel? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're yeah, cool. the channel is really cool. Yeah. cool yeah, but I didn't see this this one, but I like it. Yeah, nice. I like the work. Nice. Cool. Man, this slide is getting cool. Okay, let me try to improve my thing. Let's. What's okay. the dark crystal? It's a. Uh, oh, the dark crystal is like. Uh, remember, uh, this might be like a little bit before your before your time, but like. It was the Jim Henson production where oh, I know a little bit about it. I never watched it, but uh, was it a comic at some point? But someone was asking. Uh, it, uh, the, uh, the I don't know. I don't know. It might have been. It might have been. Um, oh, I know the comic actually. It's uh, uh, I I read the comic. It's by Yodorovsky as well. And it's not the Dark Crystal. It's called. Um, oh, I forgot the name. I will find it right. <laughs> Yodorovsky. I know I watched The Dark Crystal, but it's been forever. Like, I was a kid. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm trying to find Every time somebody right. shows me, like, pictures of that movie, I'm like, yeah, I've seen that, but I just don't... Like, I don't remember a lick of it. All I know is I was scared. <laughs> 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 I was like, oh, <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> Okay. The the big two K or something like this? No. <laughs> Wait. I can't find whether who was the like. I don't think it was Brian. For I don't know. I don't think it was the same one. I don't think it was the same one for the movies. Unfortunately, I tried to find it, but I don't think I can. I'm not gonna waste any more time. I got to draw Sting half naked with a <laughs> with an iron thing. What am I doing? Make like, sure go. that that underwear looks like metal. <laughs> Oh, you got it. I've got like 500 textures that will <laughs> attest to that. I got yeah. it. 
That's what I mean. You can't let us down. You have to, you you have got to deliver on, on those metal now, underwear. I'll have to like <laughs> doctor it because this original one looks like styrofoam. So, you know, <laughs> right. the, like the photo I'm looking at, it looks like styrofoam. It doesn't look like, <laughs> like metal. So it has like metal paint on it sort of, but it doesn't, uh, I'm going to exaggerate this a little bit too. I'm going to go a little bit. I got to go a little bit more, a little bit more grand with this. Make it a little bigger. It's like a cod piece kind of thing. So I got to, got to accentuate it. Okay. Let me move this down. Actually, I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Okay. So I'm not playing music on purpose because everyone like that. needs to be listening to the Dune soundtrack right now. Like if you're not listening to the <laughs> Dune soundtrack, what are you doing? Um, so if you're watching this and you're like, there's no music, put on your own. <laughs> there you go. Because <laughs> I can't put on the Dune soundtrack on this stream. We're going to get like. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> And if you're wondering, like, oh, well, then why do you have screen grabs of the movie? It's uh, I went on Shot Deck. So if you don't know what that website is, they have like uh, like high quality screen grabs of all the movies. And because I have an account there, I have the rights to use them. And then uh, YouTube has this thing where if you're not selling anything, like we're not selling you anything right now. We're just having fun drawing. Uh, we are allowed to use said content. So. Yeah. Perfect. But on that note, just put on just put on like the Dune soundtrack at like 20% in the background and like you're good. <laughs> right. That's it. And if you want to link to that, I'll be super sweet because I have had the Dune soundtrack playing all morning because I want to have it in my head during this stream. So let me go ahead and post that in the in the chat. <laughs> Do it. Oh, no. Get it. Hold on. Uh, Hold on, I'm having. I found the comics that I was, uh, yeah. Oh, you it's found not... the the dark crystal ones or whatever. Yeah, it's not Rosin. Uh, it's Rosinski and Van Ham. This one. And oh, it, I don't it, know that. It's, yeah, it's a French. Like they are French and Polish, I think. Oh, okay. And uh, cool. this one inspired the dark crystal. It's oh, really okay. cool. Yeah, it's really nice. I have it actually in in paper, but. Nice. It's a nice okay. comic. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, the Dark Crystal is. Let me let me post a picture of the Dark Crystal, and I'll show you because. Yeah, you, it's those elf uh, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. With that, big that, eyes. Like, yeah, that's it. It's so cool, though. Like the art style and the uh, Brian Froud's like his art for it is so awesome. But this is the poster. Here's the poster. There you go. Where is it? Hold on, let me go to. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You remember this? Yeah. They were like the Skeksis, like they talk like that, like they talk <laughs> like that. You know. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I used to love that as a kid. That was like edgy to me as a kid. I was like, oh, this is like a little bit scary and a little bit, you know. <laughs> It's good stuff. Jim Henson Studios had some pretty cool stuff back then. I loved some of their some of their stuff. And even the Muppets, like I grew up like watching the Muppets. I thought that was awesome. Like the Muppets were great. You know, but now it's everybody thinks they're kind of dumb, I guess. But I grew up with that. Never already watched. <laughs> there you go, Hadley. Yeah, I never really watched the uh, Muppets. But I think in France it wasn't as uh, popular. Yeah. What's a um you know, what's a like an a really distinctly like in France like an American thing like you grew up watching? Like what like like do you guys know like He-Man and stuff weird stuff like that there? Do you know that? I know He-Man, but uh yeah, I don't think it was popular in France. But like right. uh, all the superheroes, yes, like the the uh, spider-man and batman and everything gotcha yes gotcha yeah. are then, there any like are there any like french superheroes that that i don't know about 
oh, that yes. you would like so t- uh, that are funny <laughs> i'm saying like tell yeah, yeah, i know yeah. there's some that i'd have but what are some like really funny ones that that would be like one, yeah. what is it uh, which one I'm, I'm trying to find the name i know the it's from a magazine oh, okay uh i like this guy it's uh i had this one super dupont so how would it wait okay so what it what's uh how does that <laughs> what? how does it how does it translate how does it translate <laughs> he has a baguette <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yes <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what um what uh how does that translate what's super dupont like what is that? i think he has super strength or something super i strength. forgot okay i forgot but it's it's really dumb from what i remember so like, so is that is what's fluid glacial or however you'd say that how do, like, it's uh what? it's a magazine but they make dumb comics like funny comics but it's oh, always okay. really dumb and it's more for adult public okay like, uh, okay than kids but it's it's really yeah it's funny Dude, that's it's funny. freaking awesome like <laughs> that is that's exactly like vens that's exactly what i was looking for like something <laughs> like that that is You're so welcome. good i want to read <laughs> it so bad like I want to read that so bad, legit. That is. I don't yeah. know if, if you have an English version of this thing. I'm not sure. I, I'll I'll learn French for that, man. <laughs> that's like. <laughs> that's so good. That's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's so funny. I don't know if we have like really superheroes. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, that was such a hilarious stereotype. Like, I just look and he's holding a baguette. Like, (laughs) I can't. can't, That sent me over the edge. When you said that, that was the first (laughs) thing I thought of. (laughs) I like this thing because, um, yeah, my father used to buy that magazine, and when I was like Mm. fourteen or something, I I I read it, but it wasn't for kids, you know. So I like. Yeah, 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 yeah. (laughs) Right. They were saying insults and everything in there. Right, right. <laughs> and I liked it. <laughs> That's probably what drew you to it as a kid, right? You're like, yeah. sweet, it's edgy. You know, that was yeah, like it was a bit like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, this is scary, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I had a show when I was a kid. It's called uh, Passepartout. Okay. And what? Okay. Uh, it was the show for little kids, and it was developed in Quebec to be like a show that would like help kids learn things, like just their place in the world, and like what they should do when they cross the street or when they're at a at a grocery store but they had some really questionable like episodes like one where (laughs) they were talking to kids about how to treat babies and so how they did that is they dressed up two of the fully grown adults as babies (laughs) oh (laughs) no like pretend to change their diaper and everything (laughs) Oh no! <laughs> Brutal. Brutal. It was so, it was so bad. You know, like that, those people, their family is just like, <laughs> can we bring out the can we bring out the uh the picture again? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep. <laughs> That's yep. hilarious. But it was I like in a lot of them, like it's a really good show, especially for like the time and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and they did a lot of like nursery rhymes and teaching kids the alphabet and their numbers and all that and that's that's good right because I was recently sure. looking through these episodes and I was like oh I watched this and it was really it was a TV show that my uh, like my parents watched when they were growing up mm-hmm. so it's like it's not from my generation it's from like the 70s <laughs> so some of the stuff <laughs> 
is just really, really wacky. And you have these like really old, like little French nursery rhymes and stuff. And they're they're just like, if you listen to them today, they sound like really weird. You know how um you know how weird uh Rockabye Baby on the treetop sounds when you listen to the lyrics? Right. <laughs> yeah. It's the same. It's like people dying and like <laughs> different things. And you're just like <laughs> listening and you're like, why? <laughs> so yeah, I was looking through them because I, I wanna um have my kid listen to some some TV that I approve of. And like I was looking through and I was like, you know what? He doesn't have to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> i was like i have fond memories but maybe i shouldn't have <laughs> right well it's so funny like, like a lot of those old a lot of those old like children's stories and stuff are like and then they like cut off their fingers and fed them to the the, <laughs> the goblins and you're like what the heck like you know so all you right. little bad children like those cautionary tales like don't leave your <laughs> Like, don't leave your light on at night or you'll get stolen by the, you know, like, what? it's like, whoa, you know, so crazy. Yeah, that's exactly, yeah, you, you hit it on the head. That's what I was, like, trying to explain, like, about this thing. I don't think it was bad, especially for the time, and I think they did well. I think it's just society has, like, changed and grown and stuff, and we just, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, well, we are also, like, weak now, too. We're, like, weak. Like, now it's, like... <laughs> So like we're nicer now, but we're like so much weaker too. Like the average person is just so much weaker, you know. Like like I mean, I if, hear you, you. if you if you think like back to like people are like, let's have twelve kids because like six of them are probably gonna die. Like that. I mean, you can't help but have like stronger people in that time frame. You know what I mean? In that you know yeah in that era, like you just can't help but have them be stronger. So now we're like, oh my gosh, like I you know like I couldn't watch my show. Like I have anxiety, you know, and it's like. <laughs> You know, like, I can't believe my my show I like isn't going to be on anymore. Like, for real, like, people are like, I have anxiety now, you know. And I'm like, okay. So, because they couldn't watch the show they wanted to watch? What? Or whatever. I'm just saying, like, the most, the, like, the, you know, yeah. there's real anxiety, I know. Don't everybody get all upset. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I understand. I'm just saying, like, as a society, it's like, you know, we're just weaker. You know, when it was like, I well, I have to keep doing this or I'll die. You know, that's that's just generally a, you know. <laughs> stronger population you know I, so I think it's good i think what we're trying to say is respect to the old people um <laughs> sure but also you know yeah sure. some of the content made in that era it's like right well that reflects that's what i'm age saying well it didn't yeah, it age reflected well. yeah it reflected what was going on which was like you'll die of one of these six things probably so let's tell you stories that will make you prepare let's make for that. sure that you're tough by the time you're five <laughs> <laughs> so that yeah. you can survive yep and let's be honest your life expectancy probably won't go past 40 so you know so <laughs> well for real like kids had to oh grow gosh. up fast kids had to grow up fast yeah. you know they did so all right, I need to I need to alter this a bit and morph this a bit. Oh boy. I'm gonna make Let's this. <laughs> I need to make this like the Tinder, you know, yeah. yeah, I need to make it like a uh, real goofy kind of. Oh, uh, <laughs> so good, right? So good. That, that's that's you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When you're so impressed that you're speechless, you know. Yeah, I guess, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hadley says, and then there's a doll named Poppy Playtime that wants to help you escape the factory and save all the people and kill the prototype, the one who started all of this. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. That's, awesome. <laughs> that's, hilarious. that's a really interesting children's toy. <laughs> that's... that's hilarious. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, that was out of context. So there's this whole thing. She's been talking for a while. So, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I sorry. only read like the last message of one of her contextual messages. Um, so there's this whole thing. If you want to read it, like I'm gonna I'm gonna show the chat here, and uh, someone in the YouTube chat is asking where the canvas link is. So give me a second. I will post that. Yeah. It's not real. <laughs> there is no magma board. <laughs> the board is a lie. <laughs> oh no my sting is real my sting is so real you know i, I was just quoting portal <laughs> no i'm just i'm just being funny 
it's that's been funny this sting is anything but fake you know this is this is real life right here this this he's almost got like a chastity belt kind of thing going on yeah (laughs) that's right i was trying not to say that (laughs) yeah well if you're trying not to say it john's gonna say it right sorry i'm like i'm real wild today like i feel real you brought in your wife you're i know right i'm I'm acting weird i'm sorry Oh my goodness. <gasps> There's something really cool on board, like two. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, yes. Nice. That's nice. <laughs> There's like an alien. <laughs> that's awesome. Nice, you guys. Oh, is Andy is fun. killing it as per usual. Um <laughs> Okay. So of I course think he made he made a worm and everything. Oh, he didn't do dinosaur. Hey, TBT, well, we're maybe? talking about Dune. Yeah. <laughs> talking about Dune. Yep, that's it. Dune, weird kid, weird kids shows from the past. <laughs> yeah, talking about Sting and his his sweet outfit, <laughs> metal <you> underwear. <laughs> yeah, metal underwear, chastity belts, Dune chastity oh belts. My goodness, you know how we do. Mm-hmm. Got to be <laughs> the weirdest possible topic every time. You're like, why did I remind John about the? <laughs> <laughs> no honestly you're making it more fun it's all good like i i have no issue like you're fine okay good <laughs> yet yet right <laughs> <laughs> so good that's so good like the the pause was was a choice <laughs> so the, the the creators of adventure time said they were high when they were than when they were making the show. Well, I'm working on a show right now, and mine is really weird, and I'm definitely not high when I'm doing it. So, what does that say about me? Mine's real weird. Like you're just high right? on life. <laughs> you're just like, like normally I can't even, weird. Dude, yeah, I got offered. Like, I got offered drugs show. so many times when I was in a band, and I never took <laughs> it. I never wanted to, because I like honestly too. Like I mean, like you know, I didn't. I didn't want to do it, but like, but also, I I thought like if i do this like what will happen like i have no idea what would happen like Mm. it would maybe i would just fall asleep because it would just counteract everything but (laughs) like but i mean could you imagine me on some sort of stimulant of some sort and hallucinogen like what that is like you would pass out (laughs) i probably would because like you'd be like weirdness overload (laughs) yeah like what i mean i i think about that with my kids like if I get um, Alzheimer's or something like that, like, you know, my kids always say, like, when I say, what do you think I'm going to be like when I'm older? They're like, you're going to be super weird. That's what they say. <laughs> like, you're going to be so, so weird. They all say the same thing. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, I guess that's because that's old people like they have license to be like whatever. Right. So like you stop caring. You just kind of like you're just like, I'm old. I've earned this. I can do whatever I want. And you're and just I already gonna, don't like, care. I already exactly, don't care. You're just going to be like. In your underwear, like somewhere in the, like an old folks' home, <laughs> like Yikes. painting it's gonna be so an oil bad. painting. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so bad. Like that's not a good thing. Like that's gonna be like I'm gonna for real, legit be nutty. Like wait, wait, you're gonna be? Are you gonna be in the metal underwear? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> if I had these, I would totally wear these, one hundred percent. That's what I should say if I ever meet Sting. I'll be so, like, how about that so metal I hope underwear? Your wife dude. Is fun. <laughs> I hope your wife isn't hearing you right element. now because she's, like, <laughs> <laughs> she's going to be so confused. <laughs> oh, she, you know, it's so it was really funny. One time my, my kids like friends came over and I was doing something. What was I doing? I was painting something. It was some weird character I was making or something. And they were like, whoa, like, what is your dad doing? And I heard them. They were like, oh, yeah, that's his job. They're like, yeah, it's my dad's job. Like, whatever. They were like, you, like they, they didn't even like register it. Like, oh, yeah, it's weird or whatever. They just were like, yeah, that's his. That's what he does. You know, or, or, or what did they say? They said, yep, that's my dad or whatever. That's, you know, <laughs> like that. And that's it. They didn't even try to like justify it. They didn't try to justify it at all. It was just straight <laughs> I up. I think like, you broke them in. Good. You've like, right? successfully broken them in. Right. They're, they're not even phased yeah. i've had people come up to me uh who was it that came up to me i think, I think it was one of my friends came up to me recently that's that started your mentorship john and he was like john is so weird and i was like 
sounds <laughs> <laughs> all right. And then and then he was like, he did this, this, and that, and the other, and I forgot what he said. But then I was like, oh no, that's normal for John. Like that's fine. And he was like, are you serious? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's true. <laughs> like, it's true. You got if you're gonna like, get, get me, you gotta to get it. the weird. Yeah, you gotta get the weird. But the whole thing is, is like as an artist, <laughs> like like there's a there's a currency to that because if you think if you think like everybody else, that's not good, right? Like yeah, in order to create interesting the same things, stuff. Yeah, you gotta yeah, be you have to use the same thing. Yeah, and yeah. so you've got to think differently in order for it to to you know be a value or whatever. So, um, yeah. Anyways, but. <laughs> that's my uh, that's my take on that. Okay, I'm going for the layer underneath. I'm gonna put the skin tones down on this bad boy. Goodness. Let's do it. It's gonna I'm gonna make like a silhouette. To to I need to make like a good silhouette underneath, so it like you know, so I can use it as a selection. I didn't want it to do a profile, but now it looks a bit weird. Man, uh, perspective is a bit tough. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, like it's not coming over the, the thing. Yeah, it's a bit, yeah. It's like this. Just yeah. stretch it in here. Just stretch it. Like, you know, like don't keep it consistent. Just like make that back end like come into the right or something. See if you what can do, you do that. So like take it like this. Like see my sting, watch my sting. Like if I do yeah. this and I like just take one side and bring that side in, like do that. You know, and then that'll be a guide for, oh wait, you can't see that unless I do it. Sorry, one sec. Can you see it when it can you see it right now? How I took that and did that? Can you see it like stretched like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I could I could yeah. see it before, yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. Sorry. I think you can see it when you or maybe not. Okay. Yeah, no. I could I can see it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, try that and then that'll give you a guide to like, you know, before you start painting it at least. Yeah, like see how it's like and then it looks like it's like kind of coming over the hill a little more or something like that. Oh, you guys, people are adding spaceships. I, mean, I, just, I think I like nice. this. That is so cool, guys. There you go. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. And he is not chasing him, and that's fine. He's just uh, one day. Oh, um, Hadley said their, their mom wouldn't let them watch uh, The Dark Crystal. Oh. Yeah, that was. It was creepy. It was spooky. Oh, is it scary? I never watched it's it. It's not yeah. scary, I would say. It's just like creepy. That's what I would say. Okay. Yeah, that would probably be how I would describe it. It's creepy. Something like that. Yeah. But it's cool too. Like that you can you know, knowing me now, Anya, like and Ven's a little bit, you know me a little bit too. Like you you'd be mm -hmm. like, Oh, that's right up his alley, like like quirky, weird, like and so you know what? It's funny. I, I feel like I'm definitely like a child of like the eighties and nineties that way because labyrinth dune, like all these things, they were very mm. weird. Like they, they had this like aesthetic to them. That was like David Bowie. Like it was like David Bowie made everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it just all looked weird. You know what I mean? Like it all looks so weird, um, you know, and, and really odd. So I just think it's interesting to me because I think um, that aesthetic is it's changed. It's definitely changed. You know, it's it's a little bit. There's still weird stuff, but it's it's different now. It's not, um, you know, I don't know. It doesn't have the same kind of feel to it. But very interesting. <laughs> David Bowie he did be, do a lot of drugs. Yeah. Yeah. He did, but he's also so maybe I would be like David Bowie because if I took drugs, <laughs> because David Bowie is he was really weird to begin with. And then don't do drugs, drugs kids. So maybe it would be like that. <laughs> no. Well, the whole point is you don't need to, too. Like, if you're an artist, you don't yeah. need to. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. whatever you think you're going to gain from it, you'll get from the artistic experience. You don't need to do it. You know? <laughs> Definitely not. No, and I saw, actually, when I was in a band, I saw it. It was so destructive. Like, I, mm -hmm. I mean, I would see it like, you know, when people offered me crack and stuff, I would see it in their teeth and everything. But, but like, even beyond that, like seeing bands, like just dive head first into it, man, like it was bad. Oof. Like hmm. people were like, it was all like fun and games for them when they were like, when they were first starting out as a band, they're like, Oh, this is fun and stuff like that. And then you see them like four or five years later and you're like, Oh yeah. No. yeah it's, 
it's in the long run that you see it. Yeah, it's so bad, man. So bad. So I had a bunch of yeah. friends also, not with crack, but uh, yeah, they were taking a bunch of things. And yeah. Uh, yeah, they are not so good now, I think. Yeah, it's a shame. Mm. When people fully give themselves over to it. I remember this rich kid in my school. He was like really rich. And then one day the cops showed up at school and they like, the cops took him away and he had um he had been giving acid on stamps to kids around in the school <gasps> mm -hmm. and what? yeah so he got arrested for distribution he got arrested for distribution which is a big deal you know what mm -hmm. i mean like he wasn't selling it but he was like passing it around and he was just like thinking it was something like whatever you know i'm just passing this around but he got like distribution they were really cracking down in those in that area in the early like 90s to or the, i guess it would be like mid 90s and um and uh but it was bad like so he got taken away he was like crying and all this stuff like i was like oh man hopefully the judge went a little bit easier on him because he wasn't really trying to like you know create a drug ring or something but but he was also the kid that like he he was rich and he crashed his car he was high and drunk and crashed his car and his parents bought him a new one and what? I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, this kid is doomed. I was like, he's so, so doomed. I felt mm -hmm. bad for him, actually. I was like, anybody that does that, I was like, man, you know. I was like, that's not good. But anyways, so happy times. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, how do you segue Sorry. from that? Um, yeah. Well, I'll segue. I'll segue. Need... <laughs> I'll segue. So Dune also is a book that is mingled with uh sadness Drugs. and you know it, it's it's a little bit more real and raw and tolkien apparently didn't like it is that true hmm. did you hear that i know that oh, tolkien I didn't like it but i mean tolkien also did a lot of pretty like emotional scenes in his books yeah pretty heavy stuff um, I was going to segue it with it also has drugs because of spice. Oh, yeah, um, right. That's right. <laughs> oh, That's yeah. the better. That was a better one. That's a better one. Yeah, spice now, is really cool. Um, is an AI it, banned, right? AI is banned in. Yeah, in... so they don't use like computers. What they do is they have someone that uses the spice and that's how they travel and understand where to go in space. That's right. Um, the calculations. And then they like, have. Yeah. I forget what they're called, but they have like people that are good at calculations and stuff. Yeah, it's um, that guy in the um guy in the movie in the new movies when they ask him, he's like, "How much did it cost for them to come here or something like that?" And he he lists what it is, right? In the new movie, mm -hmm. he's like, "It cost them this much." Like, blah, 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 you know, uh, yeah, that's that's. Uh, There's that. I think that same equivalent is um, he he dies in the first movie when they poison the room but um he's like really tall and skinny uh, but for the harkonnens instead of for our good guys, down, no? i mean if you're in this stream <laughs> <laughs> plus I it happens so. at the beginning of the movie <laughs> i i feel like the first third of any movie is like you know free <laughs> free free no, real no. estate and then like you know if you if you say something that happened at like the end of the movie, like that's you know uncalled for. But <laughs> and uh, I watched the film, you know. uh, the first movie, but I didn't the second. So I need to watch. It's good, dude. dude. Denis, Denis Villeneuve is like is like my favorite director of all time. He's like one of my favorite directors of all time. He's so good. Okay. How did you say that, John? <laughs> I can't great? say it. <laughs> Denis, I just I know it's Denis, but it's Villeneuve, Villeneuve or something. I don't know. How do you say oh, Villeneuve. it? Villeneuve. Villeneuve. Yes. Okay. Villeneuve. Villeneuve. Okay. Yeah. Neuve. Okay. I don't know how to say it. I don't know French. No, right? I wasn't trying to get on your <laughs> yeah, case. I just fine. think it's it's like every time I hear like my I do this I do this to my husband a lot. He'll pronounce words, and I'll just be like, "What did you say?" <laughs> because <laughs> i i also do it to my son like but my son it's more funny because he mispronounces words in english and in french so like what did you say <laughs> um <laughs> but it's, yeah it's uh denis villeneuve is really 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 good like i love the rival seen too. a whole bunch of i know his um, name but 
interviews with him and 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 Hans Zimmer how they worked together on the soundtrack and it's just oof it's glorious what movie did he make uh arrival was one he made arrival Arrival. oh yeah yeah I've seen this one yeah yeah it's so good Mm. I love arrival have you guys seen the way that he breaks down certain shots like there's a few interviews where he breaks down certain scenes. Yes, Evans. yes, that it's was so, so good. amazing. Yeah, like, like the so I, freaking I, good. Yeah, the one where he breaks down the scene where um the oh my goodness, what is she called? <laughs> it's the Bene yeah. Gesserit, but like the, the lady. The she, yeah, the, uh, the mother, what's she's it doing the oh. the needle the needle with yes. the box thing and yeah. he breaks down that scene and talks about like how she's basically a chess piece like the way that she's dressed the way that they made like the movement or they planned the way that like the voice like how they would film that i thought that was genius just yep. the way that they filmed like the back and forth between the mom and then the inside of that room um so good and just some of the choices they made and you can tell he just loves the books. Like he yes. yeah. He just loves them. And so he really took nice. care of that, right? Yeah, he it's, wanted to do it justice, which is which is yeah. awesome. Yeah. I appreciate like, that that's so big, much. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. Like when the director has respect for the material, like that's the mm-hmm. Yeah. That's like so yeah, it's like missing most of the time. <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> like I think the biggest one that pissed me off was when they made Aragon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's oh, so yeah. bad. Don't don't even because it was oh, really? the first like fantasy novel I ever picked up. Mm, so uh, and it's alive. not that great. It's not that great, but it was like for me, it was my introduction to fantasy, and I really loved it. And I went to the movie theater. I was like ready to see this epic movie about like this book that I was like a really big fan of. It's like I think I was like in my early teens, and I sat there and I was like, they skipped the entire coming of age like relationship between the dragon and the boy, and it like mm. I was just oh, like, oh. oh, I watched. Yeah. I, I read the book, but I haven't watched the movie. Don't. I think actually, you're better off. I think this is not the first time I talk about this on stream, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't. Actually, yeah, I learned English with that book because. Uh, oh really? I wanted, oh. Yeah, I wanted to to learn nice. English, and I bought the book in English just for <gasps> to learn. Yeah. And so uh, did you? Just, so did you speak to everyone in like like a fantasy? Like you were like, "Thou shalt," you know, or whatever, or something. <laughs> no, no, no. I might no, have no. done that. A bit. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, it pissed me off because they glossed over a lot. Like, when Brum, sorry, sorry for spoilers, when Brum <laughs> dies, like, they didn't do it justice at all. It pissed me off. I was just like, you know what? This this is crap. Um, <laughs> so you're like better off just reading Christopher Paolini's Aragon rather than watching the, the, the show or the movie. Just don't. Just, just go read it, people. <laughs> <laughs> don't bother. Okay. I'm, so many things like that. I'm not Twitch. Like just read it. And you know what's funny? I think the guy that that yeah, it, I think it is. I'm not sure though. But the guy that does what is his name? Th- Th- Thalen? The um <laughs> the new bad guy for Dune 2. Oh, um He acts as I think he's Aragon's actor, but way back then. Is he though? Hold on. I need confirmation. <laughs> Give me a second. I'll look it up. Yeah, I can't remember who the like the guy that fought in like the arena and stuff. Like that's who you're talking about. Uh, Faye Drata. And oh, okay, uh, he is Austin Butler, and Austin Butler is. Am I correct? I don't know. Oh no, but he looks very. Wait, what? Oh, interesting. He looks very similar to the actor they cast as the as the lead in the Aragon movie, and apparently he did audition for the part. So, oh. you know, I wasn't far off, but it's not the same person. And he looks similar though. It's it's very they have the same look. Gotcha, gotcha. 
darn. <laughs> I thought it was the same guy for a second. Um, but I haven't seen that that movie since I saw it in theaters because it disappointed me so greatly. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> it's been a few years, let me put it that way. <laughs> yeah, how long has that been? It's been like 10 years or something, right? 10, 10 12 years, <laughs> something like that. Probably I think, 14. right? Wait. <laughs> you were 14? I'm so, I'm so old. <laughs> you were 14 when Aragon came out? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. Hold on, hold on, hold that on. makes me feel mad old. What the heck? <laughs> if you were 14, that's like... Well, actually, what was I saying? Oh, I was talking to a buddy of mine. We were painting. We do like VR sketching, like like figure work. It's really, oh. it's really funny, but it works really well in gesture VR. Um, and That's we get insane. together. I yeah, to it's good. It's really good. Mm. Yeah, do it, do it, Vince. It's really good. It's a little clunky, like it's a little clunky, but it's it's not horrible. Um, but okay. uh, but we were talking about oh. the early Star Wars, oh. and he was like, he was like, well, yeah, like I loved the first Star Wars, like like, well, he I was talking about like the first Star Wars, and he was talking about the ones that like George Lucas made, and. And then he was like, well, yeah, I, like I liked Jar Jar because I was like little and I was like, what? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, you were little? And he was like, yeah. I was like, wait, when the first, when the George Lucas's Star Wars came out? And he was like, yeah. It's like, oh no. I was like, I was like 20 some. I was like, what? I was like, you were little? He's like, yeah. I was like, dude, I am so old. I was like, what is happening? I was like, this is the worst. You want to feel even older? So yeah, Aragon sure. came out in 2006, which means I was okay. 12. Okay, I was 26 then. I was born in 1980. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, I, was, I was 11. Yeah. Oh, no, you guys. <laughs> what I'm the sorry, heck? God. I'm it's sorry. So, no, it's funny. I don't actually mind being like, I don't mind getting old. I actually don't care. But like, but that's just crazy. That blows my mind, actually. <laughs> so weird. So, so weird. Man, that's odd. It just that's I like it just it blows my mind. But yeah, I, I watched the Star Wars three, I think, in the cinema, yeah, in the movie theater. And I was like, yeah, 14, maybe. <laughs> Dang. That's cray cray, you guys. That is cray cray. We are all so young. I feel old. Okay, so Depot and, and Andy are, are my oh, age too. That's good. At least, at least I got some some commiseration nice. in here. Nice. You got some backup. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They're on your side. Let's that's go see right. what that man man in metal underwear looks like. Oh, nice. You have even got him in context too. Yeah, I want to put him Yo, in context. He's big. Like that. He's huge. I know. I know. I want him to be big. I want him to be big. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't want to make it like I want it to be sort of like not a I want it to be like mix in with the scene, like not to be like a you know, I don't want to make it super detailed, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's so a reason funny. I picked what I picked is I feel like you can get away with a lot on these yeah. scenarios. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. Super, super fun. I i I'm loving these spaceships, guys. These spaceships are the bomb.com, you guys. I want to do happening? some spaceships too. I got to finish this up so I can do some spaceships. Yeah, me too. <laughs> we can congregate no, on the chair. page two. Yeah, we've got right. we've got an adorable cacti here in the foreground. We've got oh, I love master cacti. Yeah, oh, I love cacti. I know, I know. Oh, we've got cacti. we've got a a Don't get me soul started. master Jedi nexus in the background here. Look at this. Look, just look at this briefly. It's so I good. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. It looks awesome. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So good. That's good. It's so good. And then this, this like landing. This is Nexus yeah. down here. Yeah, that's definitely Nexus. I love yeah, yeah. that. <laughs> Almighty Nexus, <laughs> give us the spice. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. But I love the okay. seven board as well, like the the spaceship and the alien. The, the seven board are awesome. I know so good i'm gonna i'm gonna start doing stuff on on that board right now um <laughs> i feel like this the board too is like all of the houses coming in and i'm not gonna give more context than that because some people have not seen movie two 
<laughs> Thank you. That's true. We don't want to ruin it for them. But this would be all the houses coming in. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'll watch it. So. Wink, wink. <laughs> I wanted everyone. to watch it. Yeah. I didn't get the occasion, but mm. you're good. You're good. You'll make the occasion, right? Yeah. And then you'll call me, and you'll be like, "Oh my goodness, that was amazing!" Yeah. No, but I, I heard it right? was really good. Yeah. So <laughs> it's I mean, super good, man. I, I think I think it's really good. Than the first one. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you, but you need the first one though. Like you need yeah. the build up. Yeah. You know, you need the build up for it. So I think, I think, but. No, 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 I agree. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, it's so. I love good. slow build up in movies. I love that. Everybody, everybody I know hates it. They're like, it's so boring, what? like this and that. And I love then, the slow build up. But then it's so satisfying when stuff does happen, and you have That's so much more context and information. That's the I thing. love that in books. So, like, you guys are no stranger to who my favorite author is and who my favorite book series are. I'm like selling everyone I know on them, but that's Brandon Sanderson's Stormlight Archive. They have right. okay, so in the first book, it has more characters than like all of Game of Thrones and Lord of the Rings combined. <laughs> Ooh. But like the setup. And they're like, you can't explain his books by saying, oh, it's like Tolkien style with dwarves and elves. That's not how it is at all. They have, he, he has developed like, d you know, when Tolkien came out and they like invented these races and when Dune came out and it invented different races, this yeah, is yeah, its yeah. own thing. It has like its own set of races and, and entire new world building that is like, entirely different than any other fantasy novel it's it's really it's epic fantasy and it's mm -hmm. it's such a slow buildup. and we have this coined term called the brandon lanch which is the avalanche that happens to every reader as they get past the uh second third of the book where you just can't the stop brandon reading lanch. until you finish it because <laughs> it's so nice. good he, this guy nice. is like the master of making you read the end of the book in one sitting um <laughs> <laughs> so that's just good. being a freaking good writer that's just like yeah. all that is yeah that's yeah. just being good yeah, yeah. yeah. that's amazing yeah. that's awesome I gotta read them yeah you do and when you do you need to like call me up and we'll have like a oh my goodness my husband will talk your ear off I would never <laughs> so call you if I read that book there is no way I would call you <laughs> Because you, it would be like the, it would be like calling a scientist that studies like salamanders and telling him you got one <laughs> in an aquarium. I'd be like, it would be like a five hour conversation. And I'd be like, I'd be like, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> I know you like salamanders. Okay. You know? <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. A miracle has occurred. The man, the man who talks a lot does not want to talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. <laughs> deserved. Well deserved. That was good. <laughs> oh, no worries. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, I no love worries. that you can fire I... back too. I actually oh, love. That yeah, yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I can't. I can't deal with people who can't like handle a joke and then who, like, if if you joke towards yeah. them, yeah, 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 like yeah. then they they just don't fire back. Like that's that's really sad. They're glass cannons. That's those people like if right. you play video games, they're glass cannons. You know, did you guys know that term? Do you know what I'm talking about? Does yeah, that make sense? it's like uh they can shoot, but if you fire at them, they're really uh they're like glass. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Right exactly. Exactly. Like they're powerful. It's like you build a character like in a game and you can like back when you could actually choose like the traits and make mistakes when you played games, which you can't really do anymore. Like now they're just like feed you all the information and everything, but anyways i digress but it's uh but the glass cannon is yeah is like that where it's it's uh you can you can shoot a bunch of people but and really do damage but you're really weak so it was always used to have to be like a trade-off right like where you would i guess there's still games like that where you have to trade like, off mmorpgs you know? are pretty mm -hmm. like that yeah that's like, true guild wars 2 was like that for me yeah they're making guild yeah. wars 3 which i I'm very no, afraid of because I met my husband playing Guild Wars 2. And when he said, you know, like, Anya, Anya, guess what? They're making Guild Wars 3. I went, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, dear. <laughs> right. Because you're like your time. You're just like, I don't want to. 
that right that's what you're thinking right it's like this is gonna it, suck like, i i got sucked in so hard with guild wars 2 and we had this whole like guild situation and my husband has like led guilds for like years and years and he's looking at me all like they're doing a third one and i'm like mm, <laughs> but i have art to do <laughs> So I I played this game in yeah, college. Um, I played this game called uh, oh. Ultima Online. Have you guys ever heard of that? Does anyone know what no. I'm talking about? Maybe one of the guys that are a little bit older, maybe they'll know. But it was a game called Ultima Online. And it was really like, honestly, I think like it was like the predecessor to all like the the, the massive online games, right? Because oh, it was wow. a persistent world. And you could do whatever you wanted in that persistent world. So like you could, there were literally people that like just baked bread, like did what you had to do to like bake bread in there like all day. And then, huh. um, and then like sold it. Right. And then they bought big houses and like bought plots of land from people and stuff like that. And that's all they did. There were people that like started churches in there and they would just go on there like and <laughs> preach. And like, do, it was crazy. Like it was crazy. Yo. And it was, it was like the wild West. It was like, it was like okay so bought the old version yeah yeah it, this was like so i think there were like different eras and i came in at the era that apparently everybody liked the best you know like this one <laughs> era like which was like t2a or something like that or t t2 something or i can't remember but it was like basically that time where it was like the wild west before they started implementing <laughs> rules so you would go on and like so like for instance you could kill somebody in town but the guards, anyone could call the guards on you. So if they called the guards, the guards would come and kill you, right? And so it was this, like, dynamic where, like, you'd have thieves in town all the time. That you had to watch out. People didn't, like, pickpocket you. And, like, all oh this kind of goodness. stuff. It, it was awesome, though. And, like, <laughs> so you could go, like, you could be, like, evil. Or you could be good. And, and um, but anyways, we played that for, I've wasted, like, so much time playing that game. Like, so <laughs> much time. It was, like you know but that game was funny it was i mean i remember like tracking down like somebody had posted a bounty for someone that had been killing people and they it's just like a personal bounty thing so we hunted him down and we killed him and then we um i like, put his Got clothes on and, yeah I, I put his clothes on and like took his head chopped his head off and then was carrying his head around and then yeah claimed the bounty and did like you know it's like it was hilarious it was like it was it was crazy and you could like just go like you could just go out of town and just start traveling like and you just find crap that you wouldn't have found otherwise like you're like you'd be like what is this place like are you get on a boat and sail and like you just find crap like you know it was weird it was like it was pretty cool it was like um i don't know if they could really duplicate it anymore because it was like mostly 2d it looked like the old ultima games so it didn't look very good and so like the graphics kind of sucked and everything so i don't think they could really replicate it in 3d because it would take too much like it would take too much you know but um but that game was crazy but yeah i wasted so much time now i avoid them like the plague because i'm like i don't want to yeah me too. yeah so that's that's my problem is that like when i play those kind of games i like sync everything here's the thing yeah, our, the our guild was yeah. this like intense world versus world guild and world versus world is a mode in guild wars 2 that's basically like it's a map <clears throat> and you have three different servers that are on that map and they they change up like weekly or monthly i forget and essentially it's your job to like go to different like castles and checkpoints and kill everything that's there pve and then sit in the circle for long enough so that the circle becomes your team color um oh, okay i got you and then other people from those three others from those two other servers are also going around doing that so you could be like in the middle of pve capturing a camp and then all of a sudden you see some some people from the different server come come by and you have to like gauge are they like two people or are they like 50 like they right. there would be massive zergs running around making sure that they could keep all the land and so we actually we were a guild that prided itself on having um elite groups of 10 that would take down entire zergs gotcha, um, so gotcha. we would like min max everything and like make sure that everyone was playing a certain build on a certain class to prevent any of the zergs like attack power um 
we would do things like like most Zergs when they're going around, they follow the team leader, and the team leader has like a like an. So arrow. Zergs are like you mean like fast <laughs> like get in get out people like that kind of thing. No, they they so there's like a, the team leader. And the team leader, it kind of sh- it, the whole thing is Zerg like is from comment. Starcraft. Yeah, Zerx what is, is Zerx? From Starcraft? Okay, right. So Guild Zergs, Wars, Zergs in Zerx. Guild Wars Two f- for World v World is basically like a group of like fifty or more players that are going around taking objectives, and they're usually led led by one person. And so what happens is oh. they get shaped like a comet. There's like a big ball of people following one person, and then there's a, there's some people that can't keep up, and they get stragglered. And so it's really funny to follow the Zerg from behind and pot shot the people at the back until pe- until the leader notices, turns around, and then you can actually kill half of them before they even know what's going on, if you know what you're doing. And then you just kite them around and pick them off. And <laughs> See, this <laughs> totally is funny. This, it's, this funny, is funny. Because- it's, it's interesting to hear you say that because on StarCraft, like the game StarCraft, there was a Zerg mm-hmm. race. And that's where people started using that word, like kiting and stuff like that. Like that's what where oh, they where they kind of started using that. I think that's where it started. And StarCraft, you know, was huge in um in uh Korea. Like like right, Andy? Like, am I right about that? Like, yeah, in, in Korea, like StarCraft was huge. Like the original StarCraft they played, I think they might still play it right now. Like StarCraft two probably mm. is what they play now, but like I mean, they might still play it like like competitively. People were going like in stadiums, like yeah, yeah. packing oh, wow. out stadiums to watch them play that. Like it was crazy. <laughs> so, um, so but that's where the Zerg idea comes from, which is really interesting for me to hear you say that because that's why I was like, what what is that? Because that's totally a StarCraft thing, like one hundred percent. Interesting, interesting. So yeah, that's kind of what we did. We at the end of you know, the time that I was playing that game, we started getting into, like, they started releasing um, <clears throat> extremely hard PV content. We started putting things together for that. Um, and we did pretty well for quite a while. And then I got pregnant and I was like, hey guys, I'm not going to have time for this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Sayonara. <laughs> well, I played, so, um, I played City of Heroes and City of Villains. Like there's a game called with my brother for a little bit. We were the Delhi Defenders. That was our superhero. The Delhi Defenders. <laughs> yeah, and I he was the Almighty Sandwich, <laughs> and I was Power Pickle, and my wife was Bago Chips, and um, <laughs> we had another guy Soup Soup Du Jour. Soup Du Jour was <laughs> another character, and uh, and so we would go around and like. We because we just played for fun, like we did. Some people took it real serious, you know. Like we didn't play real serious; we just played for fun. And so we would go around and be like, be like, you know, um, like, have you had a healthy lunch today, like that? And they're like, why? They're like, you know, the Delhi Defenders can. We not only can fight crime, we can help, like, help you or whatever. We'd say like all kinds of weird things, or we or when we'd kill somebody or kill a villain, we'd be like, we'd be like, um, uh, what would we say? Uh, I don't know how they'll deal with that, right? Power pickle or something like we would say <laughs> stuff like that, like superheroes would, or so, I don't know. It was something like that. Like I add the crunch to this sandwich with, you know, or whatever. Like it's like my my brother would say so. It was really funny. Yeah, <laughs> it seems like it. So yeah, that was what I I was being even being super weird back then. You can see my brother's the same level of weirdness as me too. Same level of weirdness. Oh, it's just like a crummy fun. time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry no, you're, it's all right that was good i liked it i liked it okay i think i need to where is this layer hold on where is that layer? oh that's not on that layer okay is it here no it's on a different layer what am i doing here okay so, oh there it is i want to I want to be like obsessive about Guild Wars 2 again. So, <laughs> do it. Do so it. when I was playing Guild Wars 2, there's this like class that is in no other MMORPG. Um, mm-hmm. And that was my main class. It was called a Mesmer. And basically, what it was is you had a character, and your special power was you could clone yourself many times. I think it's like oh, yeah, up those to three ones. or four times. 
Mm -hmm. And then you can decide to shatter your clones. And shattering your clones meant they would all run at your target and uh, disappear in front of their face and leave a whole bunch of like pixels so that they couldn't see anything. But it also did a ton of damage. But what you could do, actually, depending on what your strategy is, is you could leave them up and totally confuse your opponent. Your opponent would be like, wait, is this the person? And they're wasting their attacks, right? Because um, they're trying to figure out like which one's the real one. So if you were really good at like dodging, uh, blinking, which is a form of like teleportation, and then behaving like a clone, a lot of people when you were in World v World like messing messing around, you I could actually like solo run around World v World and like take objectives, um, as long as I like watched out for Zergs because those are very difficult to deal with when you're like a single person it's always fun when you like turn the corner of a building and there's like 70 players right there <laughs> like that's just <laughs> it's terrifying um, well this is interesting it's yeah. interesting to me to hear you talk about it because i felt the same way when i like when i was playing that like what's fascinating is and i don't know if i like it or if it i think it's a bad thing or if i think it's a good thing but like i you know there's like memories created from this virtual do you know what i'm saying like it's like a virtual world where you have like memories you know um oh yeah like oh this happened and then this happened and then this happened or whatever like like me telling that story about that guy that like we cut his head off and did that like i still remember it which is so weird right isn't that weird that i still remember that like like and it was like on a I game mean, right but it it was with like, other people but it's really interesting to me that's a strange concept like i don't know it didn't it didn't actually happen you know, it did. Yeah. It did. You know what I mean? It's so weird. A lot of my first bonding time with my husband was just us going on adventure inside Guild Wars 2. I mean, I remember when Heart of Thorns came out, the expansion pack, and we spent <laughs> like 20 hours in a row like, just playing the new expansion together and exploring the new content. I did like, that yeah. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> hey, I wish I knew you back then. I would have totally... Uh, you know, come I mean, to Undying Spirit. We can be your guild. <laughs> I didn't play I it uh, like you did, I think. Like, I was playing it for fun. Yeah. <laughs> so I did yeah, go I was... past level 80 and all that thing. Like, I did went pretty far, but I wasn't in a guild or doing all, like, all the world you said. All the world you said. <laughs> yeah. I don't know them. <laughs> like, the Zerg. So, <laughs> here's the thing. World them. versus world is hard. That, like... Yeah, I tried that a bit, but... Uh... <laughs> so there's a tradition that that our guild does is whenever we see somebody that uh because in world versus world there's also a leveling system you can tell when somebody's a newbie you would find someone on the server uh that's a newbie <laughs> and, and you would kill them and then oh. you would just message them welcome to world view world scrub <laughs> <laughs> that was like that's Get how good. we say hello <laughs> um but it is hard. It's really hard because most world v worlders min max the crap out of their builds, and they know how to use their builds against all of the new meta builds that come out with each patch. Like we read everything through, and so this is why, like when a lot of people have questions about magma, to me I'm like, it's like it's because I'm so used to like research and, and really like min maxing my stuff. And my, my husband's <laughs> probably a big inspiration uh, for that. Cause he, he was the one who introduced me to that concept. Uh, it came naturally to like every time they have an update on magma, I like read the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I read the whole thing. And then I'm like, Oh, okay, cool. Cause like it, it, you know, whoever says gaming is a bad thing. I don't, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's just, I don't think gaming is a bad thing. No. No, I think you learn a lot of stuff through gaming. And you have all those memories and you're like with people. You can build relationships. It it's just if it becomes like all consuming, that's when it's like oof. Which which is why like for me, I can't play MMORPGs anymore. Like it genuinely scares me that Guild Wars 3 is coming out. <laughs> I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I stay away from like I stay away from most video games these days. I remember like Me playing too. um I remember playing like uh uh Skyrim or whatever. 
when it came yeah. out. Yeah. And, and I was like, I was like, this game is awesome. And so I got on and I was like, I'm just gonna play it for a little bit. So I got on and I like made my character and like walked around and shot a deer or something. And I was like, and I was like, oh sweet. And I was like, 50 minutes. I was like, that was 50 minutes. I was like, <laughs> what the heck? I was like, I'm not, and I turned it off and I I, I didn't play it for a long time until after that because I was like, screw that. I was like, no way. Oh. I was like, no way. You know, See, you um, must have been older than I was because I know you didn't shoot a deer. You almost got beheaded, got attacked by a dragon, went down into the caves and probably shot the bear because there's yeah, the a bear, bear there. And they, they tell you they give you a bow right before that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have a hundred percent completion on Skyrim. Or no, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't Skyrim. Maybe it was the other one. Maybe it was like Elder Scrolls or something. Maybe Oblivion? it was like Elder Scrolls came out. Oblivion. Yeah, I don't know. All I know is I was walking around and I shot a bow and I killed a deer and then I was like looked at the time and I was like, what the heck? <laughs> no, those things will suck up your time. And I, yeah. I have a hundred percent been there, but I can't do it anymore. Like. It's just, it's, it's too much of like, too much of my life. It's just like, <laughs> not real. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That, for real, for real. Yeah, you can't, you can't I do suppose it. I don't regret spending time there because I met my husband and I made, like I had good relationships and I, I built good skills. But I think it's when you're not playing a game with other people, like when you're playing a single player game, and it's like either repetitive or just like very easy to get lost in and you like spend a ton of time like that. That's when it, that's the dangerous territory, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. Minecraft. Yep. Hadley. Minecraft is definitely a huge one. Yes. <laughs> Have you guys ever done Minecraft in VR? Oh, oh, I want you so bad. That's I want weird. You so bad. It's that's really weird. Yeah, they are huge. Yeah, it's a thing. Like they feel huge. Like like ev all the blocks seem like they are massive. Like, Apparently, you're a different size based on if you're sitting or if you're standing in real life. Oh, okay. Like, your character will be a different size. Sorry, I was watching. Okay, little guilty pleasure. I watch Hermitcraft <laughs> <laughs> on YouTube. That's not too I do guilty watch... of a pleasure. It's, it's okay. They do really cool stuff. <laughs> Like really like the innovation no. that they have with their builds. Like it's so cool. Anyway, yeah. so their newest thing they played the the life game, uh, the the thing where all the hermit crafters play Green's game that they have. Yeah, I do actually watch this stuff. Oh my gosh. Anyway, they did it with VR, and I was like, what? Because <laughs> I'm looking. Uh, I looked at like VR stuff, and I was like, oh my goodness. But yeah, they did it, and then a lot of them felt sick. And I was like, hmm. Yes, that, <laughs> like, that game makes you sick in VR. It really does. <laughs> it makes you sick. And it gives you um it gives you the feeling of vertigo, like when you're up high, like like when you're on a high peak, it gives you the feeling of vertigo mm -hmm. too, which is really weird. Like super weird. It's odd. Like, but yeah, that makes you so sick. That game. I, I don't I don't do it for that reason. Like it's 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 really I mean, I don't have time to do it too, but it's like I think Alex like is one of the best games ever made. Like Half Life, Alex, that game is Ooh. so awesome. Like so awesome. Like in VR, like it's it's so freaking good. Um, really, really good. Like if anybody ever gets a chance to try that, I don't know why VR has not taken off more than it has already. Like I, it is so different. Like it's so different. Like and so cool. I just I don't know. I'm surprised. <laughs> really surprised yeah i guess yeah i'm looking forward to trying it someday yeah like working on working in um working in uh in quill and stuff like that is so addictive and awesome it's so cool i mean it's it's the best ever so you know everybody's got to try it it's it's uh it's super cool love it i want to put I want to do, I'm going to erase this. I'm going to distort this, actually. Let me distort this. Like, Let me go like this. I wish, do, do they have a warp on here? Do you know if they have a warp on you? Is there a warp? Not yet, I think. Not yet. Okay. No. Okay. 
You can, however, like if you don't press shift when you... Right. Um, you can warp it like that. Yeah. A little bit, but it's not like con controllable. They don't have like a grid warp. Right. Oh, nice. Natasan said, uh, not going to lie. I love making 3D assets on VR instead of Blender. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Like I've had so much fun making that, that show and working in there. Like it's just instant gratification. Like with what you're doing, it's so cool. <laughs> It's really cool. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> I love I love our Mexican cactus on the fourth board. <laughs> yes. It's the so Mexican good. Mexican cactus is the best. I love Mexican it. Mexican cactus? Yeah. It's yeah. like a no, it's like a no oh, ball yeah. cactus. It's yeah, like a no ball nice. cactus. <laughs> nice it's good. I got that growing in my backyard right now. <gasps> that growing in my backyard right now. <laughs> oh my goodness That's board it. three is awesome too oh my gosh you guys i'm gonna have to post all these boards because they're epic <laughs> Let me did see you make a uh, little mm. hat for your cactus jen um no but <laughs> i should i totally 100 percent should it'd be amazing <laughs> i need to you know Okay, why is this Wait, John, did Maybe. you write this or did somebody else write this? <laughs> somebody wrote What's Behold that? My Majestic Metal Underwear. No, oh, oh, I yeah. definitely wrote that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Definitely wrote that. 100 percent Oh, I love that you have like orange behind the ears. <laughs> yeah, like the uh the the subsurface scattering. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, totally. You know, that that is great. That is, yeah. <laughs> yeah that you is. sound like a parent that's like trying to find the right words. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're like, so that's that I is, just uh... really like what you did there, Jimmy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, really that's a You have permissions now. Sorry about that. <laughs> so awesome. I love that. <laughs> no. That's just less, so special. Like you it looks like you did it skillfully. It's the subject matter that I'm. <laughs> I know. <right? laughs> well, that's my favorite. Is like when you can do something and it reads, but it's just this most. Like it's that's my favorite. Is like mingling. I think I really do have like a British sense of humor because I, like you know, like like the British sense of humor is like, like some kind of like high level joke about like you know a famous like like it'll be like about Alfred Lord Tennyson or something. And like his, and then they'll just like mingle in a fart joke or something. Like that's the, <laughs> you know, that's like my style. I like that. That's like it always Pythons. appeals to me. Monty Python ish yeah. kind of a. I love a, uh, Monty Pythons. Oh, did you They're love so Princess good. Bride? I did. I like Princess yeah. Bride a lot. Yeah, so good. Yeah, thought so. We watched that movie. I think. Oh man, that had to have been. I think we were just dating. And he had never seen it, and I had never seen it. And my good friend, Jim Lance, he's like, I think he's like 80-something now. But he was like, hey, you guys, you want to watch a good movie? And I was like, I don't know, Jim. Like, because he's old, right? So he's going to recommend something bad, right? <laughs> so, And he was like, no, 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 you got to watch this. And I was like, The Princess Bride? And then Joshua, like my husband, he was just kind of like, eh, you know, princess. Eh, I'll, you know, right, I'll entertain right. it. And then it... It starts. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> we yeah. laughed so much. And Jim was like, because we had the couch and Jim was like on an armchair and he he's so cute. He would like, he was like this with his arms, but then he would like look over at opportune <laughs> moments to see like what our reaction was. <laughs> he's like That's the funny. sweetest old man ever. I love Jim. He's the greatest. He married us, by the way. He's uh, a pastor. Nice, that's so. awesome. It was, uh, it was so cute. <laughs> I um, I went to go see um, what's the one with Heath Ledger where he's the knight, um, the a jousting guy. Uh, dang it, what's that called? A Knight's yeah. Tale. Knight's, a Knight's Tale. Tale. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I can remember. I haven't switched. Marie and I went to go see that in the movie theater. And oh, nice. we didn't know anything about it. Like our movie Aww. was like sold out. And so we went to go see that movie. And um, so we go in there and I'm like, what is this? The Knight's Tale. I'm like, okay, I like Heath Ledger. I'll go watch that or whatever. So then I go in there and it's like, 
Yeah. And they said, like, we will rock you at the beginning. We looked at each other and I looked at her. I was like, oh, no. I was like, this is going to be so horrible. Like what you're saying. And then I was like, so about like 45 minutes in, I was like, I kind of like this. And she was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. she's like, me too. Me too. And I was like, okay. I was like, I'm really, I, I think I really over and said, I'm really surprised to say this, but I think I like this movie. <laughs> She was like, <laughs> me too, because we were both like, oh, no, this is going to be awful. Like, we were like, this is going to be awful right. when we saw that first scene. But like, how? so it was really funny. I should, if I ever meet the director, I'll have to tell him that, that he that he won me over, you know. <laughs> oh, the same, Andy. Oh. That's funny. Same. Yeah. That was back when you could like actually go see a movie and not know what was going to be in it, you know, um, without having Speaking like. Speaking of like movies with really like, or shows with, with really like odd soundtracks my husband and i started watching fallout last night because it came out uh, yeah. on prime and the soundtrack for that if you've played the games you know what it is it's just like 50s mm. music nice. and yeah, yeah, yeah. 50s music Love to it. like a wasteland themed wild wild it. west very gory mm. show is actually brilliant and i love it and i can't wait to watch more of it today <laughs> <laughs> is it good? Is it good? It's so good. Okay. Oh, like, I, I, I was curious about so, that. Yeah, I played so a lot good. of Fallout, so yeah, I want to watch that. Too. Yes. And yeah, Fallout's a great game. Really I love the aesthetic <laughs> and the, I love the aesthetic in in Fallout. Like it's so good. Yeah. Not to say yes. I don't want to make the world, world on, on fire. fire. Yeah, there you go. That's it. That's yeah, it. Nice. So good. <laughs> I know, I just got a good voice, didn't she? I like to <laughs> a good voice. I like to listen to the playlist on YouTube from time to time when I do. They are oh. nice. Yeah, they they've probably like made a playlist now, like a really like extended one for the show. So I'm probably gonna like put that on. Get you guys. Fifties music want... is the best, is it not? It is. There is it's even... actually amazing. The, the Roaring Twenties <laughs> and stuff like that. I like it just as much. Like it's like it's even more like that and i it, i love it so much like i've been kind of diving into that like billy holiday kind of mm. era you know so nice good. so good oh i miss my grandma like every time i would play like a 50s playlist because my grandpa and her would dance to 50s music like Ooh. every friday for That's i think so like, their whole marriage oh my gosh so i mean he, he not to be a downer but he he died like four years ago and uh, I would put on, like the last time I saw her, I would put on some of the 50s music and she would just, man, like it's not that she was an unhappy woman, but like you would put that stuff on and she was just like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. like she was just so happy to hear that and just like, it's just great. Like, I don't know. I, I love that kind of music. It just, for me, uh, I spent a lot of time with them when I was growing up and I would always hear the 50s music because they just loved, they just loved dancing. So yeah, I just, yeah. It was so sweet to watch them and to see that example, right? Yeah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, that's, that's cool. my tale for why I love 50s music. Well, that's cool. <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna have to go pretty soon. Well, the stream okay, is my... is pretty. We're pretty yeah, much done. Um, okay. In two minutes, so. <laughs> two minutes. Well, two I've minutes. gotta go, guys. I've gotta go, guys. In two minutes, okay, guys. All right, I'm really gonna. All right, go. all right, all right. <laughs> I, I did. I did a little. I did a little space <laughs> jelly. I did a, like a little space jelly family. I saw. That's so cute. Yeah, let's do. It. Let's Aww. do saturation lightness. Let's do this. Let's do this. What's here. inside of them? Is that like bacteria or something? Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's like their organs, <laughs> like their jellyfish-ish kind of organs. And like, yeah, maybe oh that's bacteria. Word. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's fecal matter on the inside, actually. That's fecal oh, matter. oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. I'm so glad you mentioned that. <laughs> so if we haven't lost viewers, we will now. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> all right we should Let's name see. this episode relics of the past <laughs> right <Yeah. laughs> with all the stuff we're talking about like seriously i know for real 
it's really just me like i'm the relic probably like honestly i mean yes. as a joke i would definitely <laughs> name the episode john is a relic but i don't you think that, that would, i would i would I actually think they would that. approve that <laughs> i don't think like, that, yeah. that would get approved <laughs> old uh, like 50s music old people and Weird you know out of touch shows. boomers or whatever <laughs> out of touch boomers that should be the <laughs> <laughs> oh that's funny oh man i'm gonna put these behind uh, me. let's copy and paste these i'm gonna erase this wow you've got a whole clan of them that's amazing i got, got a whole clan yeah well yeah. you guys i love everything that was done we even have one of these like dragonfly uh spaceships out here you guys did a good job on here as well fantastic Guys, I want to thank everyone for showing up, for being such a good sport and drawing with us. Dune is awesome. And so are my wonderful two companions today. Look at the cat. <laughs> you need to look at the cats before. Oh, yeah, we got to look oh, at the cat. Oh, oh. Where's the cat? <laughs> okay. Hold Where on. Where's the cat? <laughs> oh, the, oh, wow. Oh, Dude, cats. that could be a logo. That could be a logo. <laughs> good job. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. We're going to go, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. You guys are awesome. Yeah, it was super fun. Thank you guys. It was, it fun. was fun. Good to see you, Vince. Good to see you, Anya. It was fun. Yeah, yeah right. it was really fun. Yeah. <laughs>